I'm gonna be honest with you. I almost like this look with the gloss, but I don't know yet. Any minute now, we're gonna hit what everybody takes photos and videos of. 1941, the first year of the Jeep. Any time now, I'm waiting. Okay, so the other day, I was lucky enough to be able to find one of these like Overland or Rubicon Gladiator grills. And my plan is to change it from this gloss black over to a matte black. And then I'm going to do something a little bit different, or at least I'm gonna try it with this interior um, bezels or whatever you wanna call these. They come in, um, they're on the headlights and then right here are these little inserts. Not the black, not that, that's not gonna be touched. Um, but I've gotta disassemble this grill and then start taking things apart and then I plan on plasti dipping. Now the difference between this grill and the grill on Sports or Sport S's is that these have multiple parts to them. So they have, you know, your, your main grill here, there's a part here, here, another one over there then you have this insert, you have the honeycomb, these headlight buckets are, are, are different. It's just a one piece on the Sport and Sport S. So it was gonna be easier for me to do some plasti dipping. I've never done plasti dipping before, but it was gonna be easier for me to attempt that than to buy a all matte black um, grill for a Sport or for a Overland or a Rubicon. That was gonna be 300 and something dollars. Plus I'd have had to buy the additional pieces for down here and on the sides as well. And I already have a different colored insert, um, but I'm gonna try something different. Y'all just wait and see. It's not a start far stretch, but it's just something I wanna do because I don't have silver on my front bumper. It's that dark uh, copper look. So um, I'm just gonna try something different with this. It's not gonna be a whole lot of drastic change between this silver, but I'm gonna try something different. So wish me the best. I'm gonna get this camera switched around to the other angle flip this grill as I hit the camera, flip this grill over and then um, get to work on disassembling. Okay, so there's gonna be a few different tools that I use to be able to do this. Um, I've never done this before, but I've watched a video or two on how to do it. Um, and, and we're gonna try to get this knocked out. You've got these little white tabs in here that have to be removed. You've got these T20 Torx bits that have to be removed. There's some little metal brackets that cover these headlight bucket deals that you gotta remove. And I think there's something that's a pain in the butt, I think I've seen on other videos, with these little tabs right here. There's something going on with these tabs that make it difficult to remove. But, um, and I'm not sure what order you do all this in. I'm just, like I said, I'm just gonna sort of jump into it. Um, you gotta remove these little white tabs. Just sort of pay attention to how they're oriented. Uh, on your grill. So this is when one of those little tools might come in handy. Yeah. So you can use this tool, hopefully, to press down, and then these will pull right out. Okay, so that's the four tabs gone. So now we need to get in here and take out these Torx bit screws. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight total. And that's a T20 that we'll need on these. So it's all, all the Torx bit screws are out of there now. So I think, like I said, there's part of this, because I think this breaks down into a couple different sections. There's a little tab right here that we somehow are gonna have to manipulate to be able to, and I don't remember from the videos how I have to manipulate this little tab. Okay, so I sort of figured out how to do this. You sort of gotta use some kind of tool 
to sort of be able to get down in this area, there's a lip on the front part of this tab. There's a lip right there that sticks out over the edge. And you've got to be able to lift up this back tab right here and get it clear of your fingers and then press that back, the tab back, and then that will release it. So it did not make this easy. I'll give them that much. So what I did there, much easier, I just sort of pulled this back towards me. And when I did that, that, that freed it up. So now there's more tabs up here and they didn't miss this tab, but there's a tab here that I got to get up under and then over here as well. Get ready for some patience. So I got it free from that tab. There's a tab right here as well. I'll just sort of use my thumb right there and push that clear. Um, remember now I've got a little bit more wiggle room here. So I'm gonna use one of these tools to be able to, this is a butt whooping. Yeah, if you can loosen these top pieces, do that first, because that will give you a little bit more flexibility down here on this part that I'm having. This one, the bottom tabs for me are the hardest ones to sort of maneuver. I don't like those. Seems like we could just use some more Torx bits and just or Torx bit screws and just call this good, but. Hey, whatever. They're the experts, not me. All right, so there. <laughs> Just like I drew it up. So there's the middle piece that's done. And just remember, the tabs at the top, they go at the top of the grill. So now we move on to these other ones. And I'm going to spec. They're going to be much in the same. Come on. Now come on. Don't be like that. I'm straining my yeah. Ah, there we go. You just gotta, you know, top to it real nice and toss it real slow and then it just starts popping off. I'm gonna go with this one on the top first. It seems like it could be. Ah, oh, there. There we go. Yes. Yes. I like it when it's easy. Sometimes it's fun to have to work for it, but sometimes not so much. Okay. So, so you will not be able just to come in here and straight lift this up and out okay you'll be able to come in here and straight uh lift this up and out you won't be able to do it on this side though there's some metal clamps deals right here that we're going to have to remove okay so we're going to see if this mini pick and hook tools work i picked these up at uh harbor freight a while back for another project but I'm hoping this one will allow me to get in there and, yep. Just make sure like the, the front, the, the boot looks like a little boot, okay? You want the boot going out. And it's like that on both these. The boot points away from the headlight bucket. So set that metal piece aside. Oh, I missed one. Sorry, there's one extra one right here. Then up, up, and away with that. All 
All right, so that's what that looks like. And this is gonna be changing colors from silver to another color, but not too far off from that. All right, now I need to take off these bottom pieces. And that looks fairly straightforward, but let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the white tabs like we took off in the middle here. And then just some other little push tab deals. So shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't be all that bad. Uh, wait a tick. I think we gotta remove these too. Look at that. That was a horse of a different color. That's just sort of, you gotta be careful with this right here. That's just plastic. So be careful with that piece. Like Bada boom. All right. Like so now, we have a completely free and clear grill. <clears throat> so what we wanna do here, I've already power washed this, but I'm gonna go in with some alcohol and clean up all this, make sure it's nice, good, clean surface. I will let you know from the jump, there is a small imperfection right here, okay? But I'm not really all that worried about it because the roads I drive up and down every day, that's just gonna happen again. So. Um, I'm gonna get this cleaned and prepped with alcohol and just wipe it down good and clean so that way the plastic dip adheres to this. Okay, first off, I'm gonna start with um, plastic dipping the trim pieces in white. Now, I don't know how close a match this is gonna be to the white on my vehicle, but we're gonna just see how close we can get it. I've also got a glossifier for this, so we're gonna hope for the best. I've never plastic dipped anything, so wish me luck. I know that you're supposed to go really light on the first coat. Okay, so that is sort of what I've seen everybody else do on plastic dipping. They just put that really light coat on there first, and then they wait, I think it's like five minutes or something like that, and then do another coat. So I'm also gonna go in here and knock out these other two knock out the other two trim pieces with white. So we'll make sure you get that inside lip right there too. All right, I'm gonna try another coat on this top right here, or the bottom piece, excuse me, the big piece. Slowly and slowly getting more coverage. Just wanna do this nice, slow and steady, okay? Nice, slow and steady. Don't do that. I stopped right there. That's screwing it up. Don't do that. Continue all the way through this. I messed that up. And hopefully I did that early enough that it won't cause any issues. But don't stop in the middle. That's stupid on my part. I've used this box now to flip it up to be able to better be able to, you know, see what I'm spraying and what 
you're gonna see as a daily driver of the vehicle more or less. So I need to get along that edge a little bit better because you'll only really see this lip right here. Everything else I think is up under the underside. I'm also gonna plasti dip the inserts in wide as well. Ooh. Now I will tell you on this, you don't have to focus as much on painting everything because you're not gonna see everything on this. You wanna have some good coverage, but really you're just getting some overspray in some of the areas because you can't see this stuff. You can't see this right here in the middle. That's wasting paint if you're spraying right there. You can overspray right there. That's no harm, no foul, but just focus on getting in these angles right here. And you're going to, have to walk around this to be able to get everything done right. But you got to get down in those angles. Okay, so this is coming right along. This is probably three to four coats, maybe. And it's, it's coming right along. I'm happy with where we're at right now. Like I said, we're using white, white on this insert and then white on the bottom trim pieces. And then we'll do matte black on the regular grill. Okay, I'm about to start spraying this matte black. I would suggest taking some painter's tape and go in around that seal that's at the top of the grill and just put some tape over that seal. It's just gonna protect the seal and it'll leave you, you know, not having to go back in and remove the plastic dip off the seal. So I'm gonna get to laying my base coat down and then just doing multiple jobs at one time. Pow, pow. Wear a mask while you're doing this. Keep this stuff out of your lungs. Look, I'm your father. Okay, I picked up two different, what I believe is two different glossifiers. One has like more of a matte cap on it, and the other one is more of a clear. I believe I got the matte cap one from Walmart, and the clear one I got at a Lowe's. I'm assuming that the matte clear is more for the matte that I'll use on the grill, and the clear is going to be what I use on the white stuff. So. Um, I put three, I think three coats on of the clear gloss on the white, and then I think I just did two coats of the matte on the actual grill. So um, this is supposed to help from, you know, keeping it from fade, and then it just, you know, helps protect it, I would imagine. So that's what's up with the glossifier. That's why I'm showing you the cans. Also, the can says do not overdo it with the glossifier. Okay, everything should have had time to dry now and should be ready to start the process of putting everything back together. So hopefully we don't nick anything or bump anything or bruise anything whenever we try to put all this stuff back together. Woohoo! There's just a little bit of an idea of what we're looking at here. I think that looks pretty cool. Looks sort of stormtrooper-ish, but uh, I like it so far. Keep putting on pieces. The side trim pieces, they go on first before the one long piece goes down there. So side trim pieces first. 
Okay, the trim pieces are all on, so we're just gonna flip it over, take a one last look at it, and then go back in here and start putting everything together. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I like this look, so we're just gonna try to gently put everything back together and uh, hope for the best. Just a helpful reminder, you'll wanna put on the left and right side first, and then the middle side of the mesh goes last. Okay, here she is in all her glory. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it looks pretty good to me. So now I just need to pop it on there and let's see what okay, we got. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood and then we're gonna get to work on getting the grill removed. Okay, I believe there's six of these. I think there's one right here. One, two, three, four, five, and then over on the other side, there's six. So I'm gonna bring you in a close up on this one right here so that you can see sort of what this looks like. Now I'm gonna bring you in. I've never actually done this, but I've watched it a couple times. There's a little slot right here. And you just, you just want to put just the tip <laughs> up under the slot and then sort of barely start. Oh, there she goes, boys and girls. Now I got to go find that, but just put it right in that slot and just sort of pry it up. This is where the uh, trim removal tools come in handy. Just slide it right under there and it's going to pop right on out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, that was actually really, really easy. So the next part is not going to be so easy. You always hear complaints about that. That takes a little, you know, being extra to get this next part done. But it'll be getting the actual grill off. But let's see if I can't get this whole thing removed. So that's a good look if you ask me. I really like that. I like the way the white, you know, helps really break up going to that all matte black grill. Uh, that's just a different look. I'm not saying other people haven't done this. I just have not seen it. So I really like that look. That's gonna work. Well, first trip into town and got bug guts on it. So I'm gonna give it the old wash test and uh, it's been a little over 24 hours since it's been sprayed on. So we'll see how it holds up to a little light washing. And it held up. Bug guts are gone. Another good old test for the grill. Uh, the grill was sprayed on Saturday, and today is Sun. Or excuse me, today is Tuesday. So it's going to be hard rain for probably 30 to 40 miles, and it should be like this all the way home. So we'll see how the grill holds up. Still raining. Still raining and it coming down. Still raining on the ground. You're dizzy if you do. Send it! Let's see if there's any old damage to the old grill paint. Doesn't look it to me. Everything looks in order. All right. Yeah. Looks good. Looking good. Yes, sir.